the last videos, we began creating a descriptive equation in the lexical entry of a noun to model how information about its lexical category is shared throughout the syntactic structure. We need one more important concept to finalize this equation. A node in C structure is not the kind of object that can contain any information. It just marks a particular position in the structure. In order to create a space where information can be represented, we are going to introduce a new structure linked to this node. This new structure is called an attribute value matrix or AVM. And it is a very commonly used structure in LFG. The AVM is represented by square brackets. The simplest AVM contains just one attribute value pair, but it can contain multiple attribute value pairs. The values of some attributes can be another AVM, leading to more complex AVMs. But for now, we'll just stick to an AVM with one attribute value pair, our lexical category. And in this case, we wanted to contain the information that the lexical category is a noun. In order to include this information in our constituent structure, we are going to say that each node has a link to an AVM containing information about lexical categories. We call the separate but linked structures a module. And it can be said that these modules are projected from a node in the constituent structure. We will give the links to this module a label so that it's not confused with other links that we will add to our structure later on. We'll use the Greek letter lambda for a label here. To avoid clutter, we'll just focus on one AVM with a lambda link for now. Now in our equation, we will treat the label lambda as a mathematical function. Functions take an input and give exactly one output, just like in our structure. A mathematical function typically has the function label followed by a set of parentheses containing the input. In this case, we will use our label lambda as the name of the function. The input is a node whose lambda AVM we want to refer to. In this case, it's some other node. So we will put a node with a circumflex as the input. More specifically, we want to say something about the attribute category in that particular AVM, that it has the value now. We can now place this information in the lexical entry for the noun. And we can see how the information about the category of the word is shared between the lexical entry of the word and an AVM linked to a node in the constituent structure. It's common in LFG to write the function label after the input in subscript, rather than in the typical mathematical function. When it's written this way, it means the same thing, and it can be read as a path of information sharing. It says, find the node above this node, then follow the link labeled lambda, and in that structure, there must be an attribute category with the value noun. This method for linking a node in the constituent structure to an AVM is a core part of how syntactic structures are described in LFG. And we will use it again in future videos. But in the next video, we will discuss using phrase structure rules to capture generalizations about possible types of constituent structures.